All right, hey guys, um, so I wanted to go through and give you some more information on the CB radio, uh, mainly because it is heavily used in uh, some of our, our videos that we're posting. I use it a lot uh, when I'm on the road and I'm going to these places because a lot of truck drivers use it. I, I've talked about channel 19 um, in another video that I posted. That's like the truck driver channel. That's the one that I'm usually locked in on uh, because that's where the wealth of information comes from. I mean, these are guys that are traveling the roads. Uh, they know where construction is. They know how to get around construction. They know shortcuts, uh, that type of thing. So it makes my travels a lot easier. Um, so it's it's not all just nonsense. Like we, we try to use a lot of the funny uh, audio clips um, the vulgar language and the tasteless jokes, uh, but it's actually a very useful tool and it helps me out a lot uh, on the road. And you might be wondering what in the world these people are talking about. It might sound like nonsense to you, uh, but it's really not. Uh, it's just terminology that these drivers use. Um, so I wanted to go through some of that and I also wanted to talk to you about the Super Bowl channel. <laughs> So some uh, basic terminology that you might hear, granny lane, hammer lane, bears, yardsticks, mobile parking lots, lot lizards. So let's start with, um, let's start with the lanes. You have the granny lane, you have the hammer lane. It's probably very self-explanatory to you. The granny lane is the right lane. That's the lane that people are just sort of cruising along in you know, getting from point A to point B. The hammer lane, that's your passing lane. You know, hammer down, that's why it's the hammer lane. Uh, that's the fast lane. Life in the fast lane surely makes you lose your mind. Don't be a granny in the hammer lane, be a granny in the granny lane. Let the guys who have the hammer down use the hammer lane. A four-wheeler is any vehicle on the road that is not a big rig. It doesn't matter if it's a sports car, it doesn't matter if it's a work van. Any passenger vehicles, anything that's not a big rig is a four-wheeler. Uh, with the exception of motorcycles, those guys are just kamikazes. They're suicide machines. They're not four-wheelers, they are just referred to people that seem to have a death wish. My pickup truck is referred to as a four-wheeler. Yardsticks refer to mile markers. So you're, you might hear somebody say, uh, there's a crash involving a four-wheeler at Yardstick 76 uh, in the Granny Lane. And that, that would mean that there is a crash involving a passenger vehicle near, yards, or near mile marker 76 in the right-hand lane. That's actually very useful information to you. That'll let you know, like, listen, mile marker 76 is only two miles away from me. Maybe I should shift over a lane so that I miss that, that crash. Um, bears. Now, when it comes to bears, I don't know all the ins and outs of it. I mean, you can get really particular with it. There's like, smoky bears, county mounties, bubblegum machines. They have all kinds of different things. But if you hear somebody say there's a bear somewhere, just mind your P's and Q's, do the speed limit. A bear is some form of a police officer. Useful information, if you didn't know what the terminology meant, be like, what in the world? You might speed on past the, that police officer and you find yourself pulled over in the granny lane. Uh, oh, lot lizards. A lot, a lot lizard is a lady of the night. Uh, she's a hooker, she's a prostitute. She's a lady who works the truck stop parking lots and uh, tries to render services to the drivers. Not a very prevalent thing. I mean, everybody thinks that it's, uh, you know, everybody thinks that there's all kinds of hookers hanging out at the truck stops, but there's really not. There are some truck stops that are quite busy. Uh, it just depends on where you are, but for the most part, really not. I have yet to have a lot lizard come up to me, but usually I'm on the passenger four-wheeler side of the lot. I'm not in the big rig side of the lot, so maybe that's why. Um, every once in a while it will be funny though because you'll hear them get on the radio. Uh, either they'll have their own radio somewhere, but most of the time they just convince the truck driver to let them use their radio. And uh, 
people sort of broadcast themselves out there uh, seeking employment. Um, so there you have that. Um, when transmitting, when talking. Break a one, break a one. This is the bandit, this is snowman out there. Am I hitting you, son? Always start off with the street you're on and direction. Because, like, if I'm, let's use 75 uh, going through Atlanta. All right, if I just say, uh, there's a bear on 75 near Yardstick 57, well, great, but, uh, what the hell direction on 75 are we talking about? Now, now you're leaving out pertinent information that's going to help people. You're not really doing them uh, a great service. So you always want to be like, uh, drivers 75 southbound going towards uh, Atlanta yardstick 45. There's a four wheel four wheeler involved in a crash off the uh, off the side of the granny lane. You might want to move over uh, a lane and give them some room, and that just sort of helps everybody out. So it helps the people out who are having. Uh, a hard time, it also helps the drivers out. I mean, it helps the flow of the traffic. The CB radio is really a tool that I didn't realize how helpful it would be when I first got it. I thought that it might help me a little bit. Um, I more or less got it for fun, honestly, but it's really turned into a valuable tool for me. Um, so those are some of the terms. Now, I said I typically work off of channel 19, and that's true. 99% of the time I'm on, I'm on uh, channel 19. But there is one channel that is called the Super Bowl channel, and that is channel six. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that channel is not gonna help you out at all. It's mainly for nerds. It's nerd! Nerd! People who have nothing better to do with their life except for to bulk up their CB, ham radio, with an ungodly amount of wattage. All they're trying to do is broadcast as far as they can, but you have these guys who get their jollies off on beefing up their radios. All they're trying to do is show off. That's why it's called the Super Bowl channel. It's for the, the hot shot CBers who just want to show off how far they can, they can transmit. I mean, I hear guys out of Texas. I hear guys out of Florida. I heard somebody out of Florida when I was in Pennsylvania. Um, here in Georgia, I caught somebody out of Texas just the other day. Now I'm gonna turn it on. And I would suspect that we would hear somebody on there, somebody trying to transmit as far away as they possibly can. Um, hopefully because I have video running, this doesn't jinx me and nothing comes through, but I really have a good feeling that if we turn it on, go to the Super Bowl channel, and uh, we give it a minute that we're gonna hear somebody coming through. So let's try it out. Fucking lighten up pussy. Right off the bat, we got somebody. Channel six. And, um, Right, that's 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 what it is. It's the Super Bowl of CB radios. Guys just beef up the, the CB with as many watts as they can and transmit and just blurt out stupid things. So that is uh, some more CB radio information right there. Uh, valuable tool with as many road trips and as long road trips that I take. I'm actually really glad that I got it. Um, I wish that I would have installed it earlier, actually. I wish that I would have had this thing in here years ago um, because it's, it's really a, a good tool to have. It helps out a lot. But there you have it. You got some lingo. You learned a little bit about the Super Bowl channel, the other channels. Remember, there's 40 channels on the CB. It's not just channel 19. So 19 truckers, channel six Super Bowl, and you got 38 others. And if you just, you know, you get it tuned in and everything, you just start rolling through those channels you're gonna pick up other guys too I mean there's there's certain guys that they'll just be sitting around again I don't know why they do this but to work off their own channel you might come across channel 23 and a couple local guys are on there chit-chatting at night I don't know why they uh, they just don't pick up the phone you can do three-way calling whatever but maybe they're just extremely old school so there you have it some more CB uh, radio information and four westbound and down Eighteen wheels rolling. Are we gonna do what they say can't be done?